Hello, my name is Adam from Shiny3D. Today I will show you how to scan a part with no markers on the parts. So if you have a part that you can put markers uh, or you don't want to save time of putting markers in the moment, then you can have the markers on a turning table. But in our case, the part is bigger than the turning table. So you can have a dedicated table for scanning. Just make sure that you cover the table with the cloth so you're not going to damage the markers or the market will collect dust so after opening the software and creating your project you can start scanning I will pause scanning and create a cutting plane so the scanner will not scan the background so we select three markers to create the cutting plane now I can go ahead and continue scanning. So since we are not using markers for alignment, so we don't have markers on the part, we're going to have to create two projects. So we're going to scan, scan one side and then scan the other side as the second project and use alignment with features. I think that's good enough for this demo. So we're going to select connect domain and invert so we can delete the, the noise. This is good enough for this size. So we're going to optimize and generate points cloud. So now we can go and create second project so we can scan the other side. So go ahead, start scanning. And the same thing for this side. We're gonna create a cutting plane. I'm gonna pause now and create a cutting plane so we'll not scan. The background. Go ahead and continue scan. I'll use the high speed mode just for this demo to save time. Same thing, you know, create a select and select connect and domain and inverse so we can select the noise and delete it. So now we can go ahead, something for the side, optimize the image points cloud. Now we have to go ahead and align. Since we don't have markers on the parts, we're going to use features for alignment and the software did really good for aligning the part. So we can hit next, exit, then go ahead and hide the markers and delete the cutting plane. And this is our final scan without having markers on the parts. You can go ahead and mesh, mesh the part and use the recommended parameters. Okay. 
and that's it, that's our final scan. Thanks for watching and see you on next episode.